Hi guys. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi guys. How are you? How's everything? Good evening. Welcome. Bienvenidos todos. Una vez más. A la función. How are you guys? Solo una pregunta, ¿se me oye? Yes, yes, of course. Sí, muy bien. Ah, va. Es que siempre quiero Good probar con anterioridad. Yeah. Okay. Good evening, Jair. All right, excellent people. Welcome to this class again. Today is Friday. Y el cuerpo lo sabe. Es viernes. Mm. No, okay. Mm. It's, it's, it's Friday, yes. Bye. ¿Cómo well, sería esa frase en inglés? Well, ¿Cuál frase? Which, which one? La, el viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. It's Friday and the body knows it. Ok, gracias. Lo pongo en el chat. Ahí está. Yes, it is Friday and the body knows it. But no party, we're in class, working, so Friday is good, normal. <laughs> All right, yes. Well, I'm glad to see you people. I'm glad to be here again. Yes, it's a pleasure, you know, that, that we are here again. All right, perfect. Today, we're going to have a very easy topic. We're going to practice a lot. All right, we're going to see some examples, we're going to see some grammar, and we're going to do some practice, all right? It's gonna be a very, a very productive class, yes, for you, because we are going to practice a lot, all right? Yes, again, welcome everybody. It's nice to be here again, and it's nice to, to have you here again, yes. Well, uh, let me take attendance, I will do that real quick. Here we go. Today is uh, Friday the 13th. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's start Alba Janet Jimenez Cabrera. No, 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 she's not here yet. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. No, what? Let me verify acá. En efecto, no está. Okay, it's okay. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Hello, Carlos. Carlos Josué Pascasio García. Catherine Alessandra Lozano Ramirez, no. Cesar Arquímedes Moreno Flores. Present teacher. Cesar. This person never shows up. Jonathan Mauricio Galvez Juarez. Present. Hello, Mauricio. Jose, Hello. Jose Yair Lobo Perez. Present. This person, no. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Marcela no. Alas. Yes, yes, I hear you. Present teacher. Margarita Rosemary Pérez Ayala. María José Hernández Auceda. Raúl Arturo Esquivel Medina. Present teacher. Hello, Raúl. Yes, Raúl. Hello, teacher. Reinaldo. Eh, hoy creo que casi solo voy a escuchar, teacher, porque voy manejando y muy lejos. Voy aquí de San Salvador hasta mi casa. Okay, okay, perfect. Yeah, we pero, pero, 
Pero en lo que pueda participar, ahí estoy pendiente. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you, Raúl. No problem, teacher. Yes. Okay. Reinaldo Antonio Fernández Acevedo. Present teacher, present. Solamente que yo también voy, voy, voy a estar un poquito desconectado. Solamente voy a ir escuchando porque voy en camino. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much for letting me know. Pero voy a tratar de posible estar presente. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Carla Anida, allá en las Jiménez. Present teacher. Silvia Guadalupe. Voy en tráfico. También. Hoy todos van en tráfico. Hoy todos vamos en tráfico. Ok. Silvia Guadalupe Romero Montoya. Present. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. Fanny Judith Pascal. Pas Pascal, sí, me. Palacios de Oliva, sorry. Present teacher. Me dice Palacios, Pascal, me equivoqué con, con, con Josué. Ok. Es viernes. <ríe> y el cuerpo lo sabe. Y el cuerpo lo sabe. Okay. Karen de Milet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. And uh, Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. I'm here, teacher. Ok. People, excellent. Very good. Uh, Teacher going... present, me acabo de conectar. No, le eh, puse falla. Sorry. Um, Andrea Sofía Benítez. No, le eh, puse ya no vino. <laughs> <laughs> relax, relax. I'm joking, I'm joking. It is not true. Okay. People, excellent. Welcome, everybody. We are going to start. And we're going to start, I'm going to start by asking you, by asking you two questions that are projected or that you, will, you can see them in the book. And the questions are the ones that you see here. ¿Las pueden ver? Esas que están acá, ¿sí? Yes. Okay. Yes. Vemos acá el objetivo de la clase, okay, de hoy. Dice, I will be able to describe ongoing activities accurately and regular activities at the work. Seré capaz de describir actividades que están ocurriendo y actividades regulares en la compañía o en el lugar de trabajo. So what we have here is this. Two questions. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? What is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? And what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Okay. Respondemos estas preguntas. ¿Se entienden? Do you guys understand the questions? Yes. Okay. Very good. Vamos a iniciar. We're going to start with the uh, dama primero, ¿verdad? La dama primero, que es el caballeroso. Oh, perdón. <laughs> Yo la tan amplia. Oh, no. Avisa, avisa, avisa. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Jonathan, thank you, Jonathan. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Okay. The first person to arrive in my workplace is the security men okay and the first thing that i do and doing my workplace is turn on my computer mm -hmm. okay okay that is perfect so the the first person to arrive, arrive at the workplace is the security guard and the first thing you do is you turn on your computer. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan, for your participation. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Roberto, Alemán, go, please. Thank you for, for raising your hand. Okay. Thanks. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Thanks. Um, the first person what I arrived at my workplace is one student and, uh, and, one, and the sergeant. Uh, they are guard the principal enter. Uh, sí. y, y es así, principal enter o entrada principal, no sé si así se no, dice. No, it's main entrance. Main, ah, main entrance. 
entrance, main, main entrance. Principal is the director. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. They and were the main, the main entrance. Mm -hmm. And the first thing what I do when I get my WordPress is, uh, I don't know, is the, it's correct. Put my laptop because I llevo, llevar, no sé. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I take, llevo mi laptop. I, take ah, I take my laptop in my backpack. And mm -hmm. uh, every day I put my laptop in the table and connect all cables and one monitor. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Perfect. That's good. All right. Yes. Thank you, Roberto, for your participation. Alguien más? Anybody else? No? Cesar. Thank you, Cesar. Leo Wilber, entonces. Cesar, go, Cesar. Hi, teacher. Uh, uh, um, the first person to arrive at my workplace is um, laboratory staff. Mm -hmm. The lab staff, yes, yes. Yes. Um, the, the first thing in me workplace is to run my computer. Okay, so now my computer. All right, all right. Thank you, Hesa, for sharing. Yes. Thanks, teacher. You need to you need to arrive early. Okay. Wilber el nuevo Magdiel. Wilber, go, Wilber. Okay, uh, the first person to arrive at uh, the workplace uh, uh, is a, a co-worker. Uh, I am the I am the second to arrive. Uh, the first things the first things uh, what I do when I arrive is I don't know uh, I arrive uh, and breakfast breakfast then uh, we. We make the, the route. You make what, sorry? Uh, hacemos la ruta. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Not. Yes. Magdiel, go. Hello. And the first person um, to arrive at workplace is a security guard. Guard. Guard, yes, guard, security guard. Okay. And the first thing I do when I get, I get, I get um, in my workplace is um, I drink coffee. Excellent, you drink coffee, that's perfect. Yes, I drink coffee with, okay. with bread. Okay, that's good, that's okay. good. Yes, thank you for, for sharing. All right, okay. we continue. Jair, tell us. Uh, we, the first person to arrive at your workplace is um, I. You? I arrive at workplace. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the second, what is the first thing to do when you get to your workplace? Uh, I prepare, prepare a cup of coffee. Okay, I prepare a cup of coffee. All right, that's excellent. Thank you very much for that. Excellent. Daniel Rivas, can you please tell us what you do? Oh, well, answer the questions, please. Okay. Okay, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? It's complicated because we have a, uh, I don't know how do you say in English, internos? Interns. Mm -hmm, boys and girls. Mm -hmm, interns. Okay. They arrive 
in first place, would be say mm -hmm. that. And in my case, I arrived so early, my work. I arrived at 5.30 sometimes. 30 a.m.? Yes. Why? I, I live so I live so far to my work. Mm -hmm. I live in Ilopango and I work in San Salvador near to Parque Cuscatlán. Mm -hmm. So I wake up 3 a.m. for that reason. Okay. Okay. 3 a.m. is super, super, super loud. early. Early, exactly. Super early. Yes. yes. Wow. Okay. And what's the first thing you do when you get there? Oh, trying to take my breakfast. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, 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 okay. That's, that's okay. That's okay. All right. Thank you, Karen, for sharing. Uh, well, we're going to continue with You're Andrea. Welcome. Andrea, can you please tell us your, uh, your, uh, Okay. Uh, the first question. The first question. Uh, the first person uh, I'm arrived in my workplace is my boss. And uh, second, uh, the first things I do when I get to work is turn on my computer. Okay. Okay. Normal. Normal. Okay. See. Yeah. yeah. Your computer. Okay, uh, let me tell you about me. Uh, the first person to arrive to my workplace is uh, a teacher. Okay, another teacher. Um, usually the second person or the third person to arrive. And uh, well, I don't have a, a, a established thing that I do every day. I do two things. One is that I go and I open the classroom. That's one. Okay. Yes, uh, sometimes. And uh, sometimes I go to the principal's office to, to sign. Okay, that's what I do. One of them, yes. All right, excellent. Let's continue. Sandra is going to share her answers. Sandra, please. Thank you, Sandra. Sandra, hello. Yes. Okay, Fanny, are you here? Fanny, hello, we hear you. Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay. Um, um, the, first, the first person to arrive is the family registered. Uh, como decir registra el, el encargado de registro familiar de family registra the family no, el encargado de registro familiar es el no sé cómo se dice encontré que era como family registro registro no I said the person, the person in charge of family records. Um, mm -hmm. hmm. in, the person in chain of family records. Family records, okay. Yes. Uh, the first thing I do in the workplace is greet my co-workers and then um, turn on the computer. Okay, turn on the computer, all right, all right. Excellent, thank you very much, uh, Fanny, for sharing. Let's see, Carlos Ernesto, can you please share your answers? Um, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Um, the first person to arrive in my work is Mr. Francisco. How do you say motorista, teacher? Bus driver. It's a, it's a, it's a driver, the car, bus, the car. Es el motorista mensajero de la institución. 
career. What is it? A driver. A driver. Okay. He is a, a driver. A company driver. Yes. He is a company driver. And the second question, um, I am... I do uh, in my workplace is turn, turn on computer. Okay, turn on your the computer. Yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, Carlos, for sharing. Silvia, can you share? No. Okay, no puede. Mm. Okay, well, I think we have finished. Qué poquitos están ahora. ¿Son cuántos sabemos? ¿Cuántos sabemos? Oh, tenía el micrófono apagado. Perdón. Oh, okay. No problem. The first person to arrive at my work is the boss, and the first thing I do is I got to sit on my desk. You what? Repeat the same. What would you repeat? I go to sit. Ah, to my desk. I, I, escuché, I go to sleep on my desk. <laughs> yeah, okay, que, que genial. <laughs> we can do it too. Well, se puede, se puede, pero nos van a, nos van a despedir. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we... Solía hacerlo, pero en el trabajo que tenía anteriormente, y sí podía, pero ya no. <laughs> ah, okay. People, thank you for your participation. Excellent. Now we continue with part number two and part number three. In no, yes, part number two and three. All right, part number two and part number three. You know what we do here, okay? You know what we, what we do over here. Uh, well, let me read and then you, you guys practice, okay? Listen to the pronunciation, okay? Let me go and let, let's do this. Let's do this the way. Spotlight here. All right, let's do this. Ryan says, good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team uh, in Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30 a.m. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, is there a question that you, uh, that you might have from the vocabulary here? Guys, any questions about the vocabulary? No, teacher. No? no. Okay. Perfect. Let me read. This time I will read slowly. Okay, let me read it. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. All right, excellent. Okay, we, you know what we do here. We're going to practice hoy a poco, so si quieres tengamos menos grupos, si será un poco más, más rápido. Okay, welcome, uh, Alba, bienvenida. All right, let's do this. All right, I'm going to create the groups right now. Uno menos porque como hay... arreglando que vamos a dejar más está ocupado y también sí. quién más tiene que estar ocupado ah Raúl pondremos a 
let's change so we will Ok, vamos, let's join the groups, please. Y practiquemos la conversación uh -huh. y hagamos la parte número 3. Ok, let's go, let's go, people. Vamos, vamos. We can do this. Guys, oh, let's see Marcela, Sandra, and Roberto. Didn't you guys get the invitation? Okay, never mind. Marcela and Sandra, can you guys hear me? ¿Me escuchan? Sí, Charles, si nos puede agregar al grupo. Es que no logré darle para agregarme. Hola, hola, sí, estoy aquí. Eh, lo que pasa es que acabo de venir del súper y estoy, en, estoy escuchando, pero acabo de venir. Ok, está bien. la mandaré. Ok, no problema. Gracias, teacher. Vamos, aquí está, vamos. Vamos, Sandra, únase. Es más en la página. Aquí me second bien, vamos a ver aquí. Go. Ready for the call. Hola. Hola. I'm here. I'm listening. Sí. Eh, Sandra, no sé si todavía puedes seguir hablando o, o no. Aquí también está, también está alguien más. También está Marcela Karina. Sí, teacher, Sandra y, y, y Raúl van, van manejando y ahorita este, Marcela pues dijo que no, no podía hablar porque estaba ahorita llegando a su casa también. 
Ok, I understand. I understand. Ya es Sandra que se le cayó la señal seguramente. Ok. Entonces espera que regrese. Sí, sí, sí. Sí. Bueno, compañeras, me avisan cuando, cuando puedan leer. I will see you later. Raúl sería, ¿verdad? Sí, Raúl. Sí. What is the topic Raúl and his team are discussing in the conference? Mm, ¿Qué es lo que están eh, conversando? ¿Verdad? Bueno, dos cosas. La primera es lo que estaban haciendo la reunión, planeando una reunión, y la segunda fue eh, que con qué frecuencia llegan al, al trabajo a la, a la hora. Mm -hmm. Sorry to interrupt you guys. Can you can you practice the conversation? I would like to hear you. Okay, okay. Um, I am Ryan. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They, they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first things I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at, at 7 or, or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay. All right, thank you guys. Yes, I really okay. appreciate that. Okay. Okay. Um, Al revés lo hacemos. En uh -huh. Okay. Sí. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Planning. Planning. Yeah. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room i see what time do you usually get to your workplace what's the first things you do i usually arrive at 6 30 a.m and the first thing i do is to check my email and you well i arrive at 7 or 7 30 it depends on traffic my first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, well, continue with part number three, please. Okay. We have two, two questions down there that we need to work on. Yes. Go. Hi, teacher. Hi, I'm here. We are discussing about the part three. Okay, yeah, I can see that. We are a little confused if the answer to the first one question, that's good. Can you check it, please? Who gets earlier at the workplace? Mm -hmm. No. Sería uh, Raúl 
no está pasando en el momento, así que es, es, suele pasar. Entonces, es simple present. Sí, podríamos usar. Raúl, ah, okay. Getz. Raúl Getz. Podría ser, como decía entonces, don José. Get earlier. Earlier, así como está ahí en, en la pregunta. Earlier. Hasta ahí. Dice, at work. No, es, se puede, pero no es necesario, ¿ok? No es necesario. No, no. Porque está en la pregunta. Entonces. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's good. Raúl usually get surgery. Uh -huh. <coughs> ok, Alvita y Don José, ¿cuál sería la segunda entonces? Dice, la pregunta dice, Raúl, ¿Cuál es el topic Raúl y su team están discutiendo en la conferencia? Raúl, la conferencia con el nuevo... Chester. New team en Sasabo, San Sasabo. Right. Yes, yes, yes. They don't speak about it. Yeah, I can see that. The question is bad. No entiendo la segunda pregunta. Sería. Okay. Bájalo, por favor. Thank you. Discutiendo. Okay. What is the topic Raúl and his team are discussing in the conference? Vamos arriba. Es el tema que se va a hablar. Mm -hmm. Ajá, pero... In the, the, in the meeting room... Mm, yeah, you're right. It doesn't mention anything. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say... Yeah, it doesn't mention anything. They don't speak about it. No, they're not talking about that. You're right. So, we put that. They don't talk about it. Yeah, they. Do, it, it is not mentioned. It is yes. not mentioned. Mentioned. Like that? Mentioned. 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 Uh -huh. Mentioned. Mentioned. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it is perfect. It is perfect. Uh, but like, no, 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, don't no, say we will try it. <laughs> go, people, go. Okay. Let's do this. Um, okay. Uh, ustedes ahí, después yo, yo repito, después que usted, pero yo acabo de venir, ¿verdad, teacher? <laughs> Bye, no está problem. bien. Sí, dice. Intentémoslo no entonces, don José. Tan okay, a la albita. Ok, mm. you're first. Hey, good afternoon. Oh. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What What's the first thing you do? I usually <clears throat> arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30 in the of traffic. 
My first activity is to pick up the letters. Ok, ok. Ay, el Vito, no se escapa. <risa> ya se iba el... Ok. Me quedo, me quedo. Me quedo. <risa> vamos a ver, vamos a ver. ¿Con quién de ustedes? Yo le puedo ayudar. Ok, vamos. Good afternoon. Ok. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new king and San Salvador. What is our time going right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. You. What time do you usually get? Do you work flights? What the five five you first, don't? first first thing first you thing you do. do. I usually first thing, first thing, first, first thing, yes, first thing. Okay. See ya. I usually <laughs> arrive at See ya, Jose. 30 a.m. <laughs> and the first thing I do is the check in my email and you. Well, all right, uh, <clears throat> saying or saying sorry, it depends of traffic. My first activity is the pick up letter. Okay, pick up the letters. Okay, excellent. Thank you guys for, for your participation. Great. Okay, Just stay here and talk about, about the class, okay, mm -hmm. or, or speaking, yeah. okay, practice. In the meantime, I'm going to visit a different group. All right. A pleasure, people. Okay, thank you. I am here. Hi. Hi, teacher. Is Hi. Silvia available? Silvia, are you there? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Silvia. Excelente. Okay. Inicio yo, si quieres, Silvia. Okay. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is what is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to work, please? What is the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. All right, yes. Did you guys finish part three? Um, eh, solo la primera pregunta que uh, What? What about the second question? Eh, no encontramos. Uh, the second question is what is the topic, Raúl? Ah, no, no, don't there are any, any topic? Yes, you are right. Tiene razón. I think, I think, eh, el, creo que era, what is the topic, Raúl and his team are, but no, 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 no está bien. Are discussing yeah. in the conference, no, no hay tema mencionado. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, excellent people, don't worry. Thank you guys for your participation, okay? Ir a otro grupo, okay? Thank you, thank you. Well done, perfect. Okay. See you later. Thanks. En el anterior trabajo, teacher, una pregunta. Yes. En la segunda pregunta, 
la, dice cuál es el tema que está discutiendo Raúl en la conferencia, ¿verdad? Sí, yes, exactly. Pero en la conversación ya le dimos vuelta y, y yo no le encuentro tema. Y tiene razón, no hay tema. No hay tema. Yes. No. I think uh, está mal. Creo que está mal tratada la pregunta o no sé a qué se referían, pero en realidad no, no, no hay tema en, en la conversación. There's no topic. Entonces no la contestamos. No, no. Ok. Don't worry, don't worry, be happy. Ok. Yes. Can you, can you please, can you please practice the conversation real quick? Okay. okay. Uh, good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Where I am planning a video conference. Conference. Oh, the conference with the new thing in San Salvador. What is our thing doing right now? Yes, it is. They are. Okay. Getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? Uh, what's the first things you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is the is the is to check my email and you well all right at seven on or seven thirty in depends on traffic uh, my first activity is to pick up the letters okay to pick up the letters yes thank you guys for your participation Excellent. And I will see you. I will see you later, people. Okay. I will, okay. See, you I will see you soon in a few minutes. Okay. Sure. Because okay, I'm here. All right, teacher. Uh, listo, listo para deslumbrarse ahí con nuestra pronunciación. Or no? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Vamos, Magda. Uh, good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? You do. I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is, is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at right. 7 or arrive. Well, uh, well, I'm arrived at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. 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 Yes. All right. All right. Excellent. Uh, can you go down, please, part three? Did you finish it? Eh, teacher, aquí teníamos una consulta. Mm -hmm. Bueno, la primera dice que, que quién es el primero que llega o que arriba al trabajo de ellos dos. Mm -hmm. eh, nosotros colocamos aquí que era Raúl porque él llega a las 6.30. Yes. Así es. En la segunda no entendemos la primera parte. Porque dice, what is the topic Raúl? Yes, what is what the topic Raúl and his team are, are discussing in the conference? No hay tema. Okay. No, 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 no hay tema. tema. No. Uh, ¿Y con quién va a ser o con quién va a ser la discusión en la conferencia? Exactly, but, but no, 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 no está establecido ahí en, en la conversación. Así, démosle en blanco. Okay. Okay. Vamos, regresemos a la sala principal. Let's go back, please. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Gracias, Matías. Let's go, let's Gracias. go. Gracias.
recording, recording in progress. Okay, people, hello. We're back. Okay. Uh, well, we were discussing the part three and the, the, the answer in the first question is Raul, right? Raul is the one that arrives earlier at the workplace. And in the second question, uh, the question is asking or the question requires the topic of the conversation, but there is no topic, okay? We, the people, Raul and Ryan, don't, don't mention the topic, okay? Ellos no, 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 no dicen el tema, eso no hay tema. O sea, la dos queda en blanco, ok? Yes. All right. Very good. Do you guys have any questions, preguntas? No, it's chair. No, ok, then, perfect. Thank you guys for your participation. Over here, I'm going to show you what what we're going to be discussing today. El tema que vamos a discutir el día de ahora es, es este que está acá. Okay, class, is, today is class number 12, class number 12, okay? Yes. Uh, over here we have the topic, it's simple present versus present continuous. Ayer vimos el present continuous, pero balanceado al futuro, okay? Con uh, significado futuro. Well, today we're going to compare. Haremos un contraste entre simple present and present continuous, okay? But not present continuous with future. No, no, no. No con futuro, okay? It is not going to be with future. Porque ayer vimos con futuro. Bueno, vamos a dar un repaso pequeño de eso. Let's practice yesterday's topic. Number one, present continuous for future events. Uh, people, what, what can you remember? Que pueden recordar... Uh, about yesterday's class, la clase de ayer, ¿qué pueden recordar? What can you remember about yesterday's class or, or, or present continuous for, for future events? What can you remember about present continuous for future events? The rules uh, about the present continuous. Mm -hmm. Okay, the rules, dijo, las reglas. Uh -huh, okay. Yes, yes. Can you mention? Que para presente un futuro cercano. Okay, exactly, exactly. It's for a near. It's for a near future, near, okay, cercano. Okay, near future. Yes, it's for the near future, all right, all right. ¿Qué más, qué más recuerdan? Eh, el uso de los, no sé si así se dice, gerundios. Mm. Uh, creo que sí es verdad. Mm. ING, gerundio, no, no, no. Es no, no. Lo, no. Eh, yes, sí, ok, pequeña pausa. Gerundio, sí, es el verbo con ING, pero, pero no está trabajando o funcionando o, o ejerciendo su función como verbo, sino que es como gerundio. Ok, tenemos el verbo con ING y un gerundio que es un verbo con ING, pero no es un verbo. Ok, es, es gramática diferente. Ok, sí. Ok, yes. So we were uh, talking about the structure. Okay, we were talking about uh, the ING in the verb, okay, and the rules to apply the ING in the verbs. We were also talking about that, okay. Uh, well, let, let's review, well, and also time expressions. Okay, time expressions. Here, examples. Okay, uh, the time expressions that we were talking about yesterday were tomorrow, tonight, in the afternoon, tomorrow morning, on the weekend, next week, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the day after tomorrow, que es pasado mañana, in a few days, next month, in one week, in two weeks. Uh, también podríamos decir uh, these days, okay, estos días, yes. Okay, these days, etc. Okay, tenemos, we have to, people, listen to this. Escuchemos esto. We have to include, tenemos que incluir, okay, have to, obligation. We have to include the time expression in the present continuous sentence. Tenemos que incluir la, 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 la expresión de tiempo en la oración del presente continuo para hacerla futuro. Si no, if we don't, if we don't, si no incluimos la, 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 la time expression, no es futuro, 
Okay? No es futuro. Let me give you one example. Daré un ejemplo. Sencillo. Ok. Acá está. Over here. I am eating. Estoy comiendo. Ok. Acá. There is no future. In here, in here, we I'm not, I'm not expressing, I'm not expressing future. I'm expressing progression or progressive in these moments. Ok. Sí. You get me? Entonces, la clave de the key, the key to understand or to identify, the key to identify the present, uh, present continuous for future events está en la palabra de tiempo. Ok. I am eating. No, aquí es spaghetti. Aquí es horrible el spaghetti. Blech. Ok, veamos las oraciones. Ok. Misma estructura, solo con una palabra extra en una oración que cambia completamente el significado. I am eating spaghetti quiere decir yo estoy comiendo spaghetti en este momento. Ok. Yes. And I am eating spaghetti tonight quiere decir estaré comiendo spaghetti esta noche. Entonces, entonces, la clave es, la clave es, tipo, esto que tenemos acá. ¿Ok? Eso, eso hace futuro la oración continua. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? ¿Entendemos? Yes. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for, for, uh, for confirming. Ok, muy bien. Seguimos. Ok. Some examples, los que les mostré ayer, acá están. Okay. He's checking his email tomorrow. She's, she's attending. She is attending a meeting tonight. I am preparing a presentation in the afternoon. We are having breakfast tomorrow morning. You are going to the beach on the weekend. The boss is coming next week. And the secretary is sending the report on Monday. Okay, yes. Let me stop this here. And uh, we will do something else here. Give me a second. Que cargue, que abra el documento. Okay, here we go. Vamos. Yes. Okay, yesterday we were talking, we were talking about about uh, rules, rules. Okay, recuerdan esto? Yes, do you remember this? Yes. Okay. Yesterday, we were talking about rules of the ING form. Okay, reglas de la forma del ING. Okay, yes. We add, en general ponemos, we add. Okay. Agregamos el, uh, we add ing to most verbs to make them progressive. Agregamos la ing a la mayoría de verbos para hacerlos progresivos. Ok. La ing no se aplica en todos los verbos. Tipo, hi, están conmigo. No se aplica en todos los verbos. Ok. Sí. No todos son progresivos. Hay unos que no son progresivos. All right. Very good. Uh, let's say that we have rule number one here. Rule number one. Rule number one. Okay. We add, add ing to most verbs. Okay. Agregamos, agregamos ing a la mayoría de verbos. Okay. Yes. Rule number one. Add ing to most verbs. Tenemos acá eat and drink, okay? 
we have eating and drinking. Okay. It's okay. Okay. As you can see, we're changing the, the, the ing here too. Okay. Rule number one is very simple. Add ing to most verbs. Okay. Haríamos el ing para mayoría de verbos. Rule number two. Rule number two. Let's discuss it down here. Okay. Rule number two. It's uh, add. Sorry. Remove. Verbs that end in e, comma, remove the e and change Okay, there you go. Rule number two is pretty simple. Verbs that end, verbs that end in, verbs that end in E, remove the E, borramos la E, o la E, perdón, la, la cambiamos por E y agregamos ING, okay? Ejemplos, dance. Okay, we have dance, drive, and take. Okay. Borramos esa e, and dance, borramos esa e y la ponemos e. Okay, dancing. The same situation, or we apply the same rule to drive. Okay, we eliminate that e. We continue with take is taking. Okay, yes. People, are you with me? Están conmigo? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. El que esté dormido. Ya vamos a ver cómo lo, lo despertamos. Ok, seguimos with rule number three. Ok, recordemos, el verbo que termina en E, eliminamos la E o la cambiamos por I, luego agregamos ING. Perdón, NG. All right, seguimos. Rule number three is also pretty simple. Ok. Okay, here we go. Rule number three, double the last letter if the verb ends in the following, following com, in the following combination. Consonant, Okay, consonant, vowel, consonant, que es el CBC, famoso CBC, okay, yes. Uh, fit is one example, sit, spit, okay. Tenemos acá fit, que es uh, ajustar o oh, encajar, okay. Fit will be. Fitting. Sitting and uh, spitting. Okay, todo van con I. Vemos esta de spitting. Pongámosle shop, que es por picar. Okay, shopping. There you go. Okay, como pueden ver, como termina el CBC, duplicamos la última letra y la agregamos ING. Okay, recordemos que we have some exceptions. Except W, Y, and X. Okay. Eso no se duplican. All right. See? ¿Sí? Okay. And that's it. We have no more rules. No more rules. People, do you have any questions? Teacher. Yes. O sea, de que cuando es termina en consonante, se duplica la consonante. No. Cuando termina en consonante, vocal, consonante, como vemos acá, consonante, que es la uh, E. La I sí. es vocal, 
y la T es consonante. Si termina así, en esa, par, en esa combinación, se duplica. Se duplica la última letra. Ok, pero si terminara solo en consonante. Si no lleva la combinación, no se aplica. Ah, ok. Gracias. Yes. People, more questions? Cuando, cuando en la última regla, teacher, eh, yes. se terminara en X, aún así se le agrega el ING o, o solo se deja en X. Se le agrega la ING, sí, sí, sí. Lo que no pasa es que no... Sí, no, sí. no, no, no Por ejemplo... No se duplica, no se duplica la, 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 la consonante. Ok. No, si, se, si termina el verbo en X, no duplicamos nada. Solo ponemos la ING. Okay. Fixing, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. si, si termi, fixing, exactly, exactly. Si el verbo termina en W, igual no la duplicamos. O si termina en Y, tampoco se duplica. Ok. Yes. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. For example, uh, what, ¿qué verbo mencionó usted que, que no aplicaba esas reglas? ¿O ¿Qué verbo no aplicaría a ponerle ING, como dijo usted? ING. Oh, lo mencionó antes. Ok. Sí, sí, puedo, puedo explicar también esa parte más abajito. Ok. Pongamos Los la... que terminan en Y, ¿verdad? B, W y X. No, 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 no. Sí, se, se, más bien se refiere a verbos que no se pueden incluir con ING o que no se pueden usar ah. con ING. Ah, ok. Porque sí, hay verbos que, verbos que no se pueden usar con ING. No. Ok. Uh, example, we, we call them, los llamamos, los llamamos, uh, se llama en inglés non-action verbs. Ok, non-action verbs. Que son verbos de no acción. Ok, por ejemplo, love. No, no, no ejerzo ninguna acción física. ¿Me entiende? ¿Sí? Entonces, el verbo love no se puede usar en progresivo. ¿Ok? Uh, muchos, muchos uh, cuando, cuando estamos en ese tema, que entramos en, en controversia porque la compañía McDonald's, McDonald's le ha puesto a su, su ¿cómo se llama ese, esa parte? ¿Cómo se le, le llama eso? Su frase, how do you call that? Eslogan. Ajá, su eslogan. Su eslogan es I'm loving it. Ustedes lo han, lo han visto, ustedes lo han visto ustedes. Que el, su eslogan es I'm loving it. Así como está aquí. No, de hecho, no, no lleva, no lleva, no lleva la G. Lleva el, es, sí, no. Ese es el eslogan de, 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 de McDonald's. De eso no, 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 no es gramáticamente no es correcto, gramática. Ok, entonces verbo, el verbo love no aplica para la ING, like tampoco, hate, need, esos no aplican, el verbo saber tampoco aplica, ok. So, esos verbos que no, no, no ejercen ninguna acción física no aplican, ok. No aplica para el ING. Ajá, exacto. Pero si quiero hacer una oración con presente continuo, tiene que ser el, el verbo... No se puede continuo. No se puede, no se puede continuo. De ayer. No puedo decir me está gustando. Aunque en español, lo decimos en español sí, pero en inglés no. No se puede. Ajá, ajá. Okay. Me está gustando. O oh, decimos, me está, estoy, uh, no voy a decirle. Estoy sabiendo. Estoy conociendo. Estoy sabi sabiendo del tema. No. Michelle. Yes. Y el verbo ganar. Al win. Sí. Sí, se puede. Winning, winning. Se duplica la, la N, por cierto. O sea que es correcto decir Real Madrid winning the champion. No, no. Usted, 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 anda, usted está enfermo. Está <ríe> en la altura, no. <ríe> sí, se puede, se puede. Se puede decir. Real Madrid are winning the Champions League. Sí, yes, se puede. Ok. Lo bueno que la secta. No, no, es un ejemplo. Es un ejemplo. Ok. No, aquí puro barcelonismo. <ríe> ok, no, no. All right. People, preguntas. Questions.
No? Okay, very good. Let me stop sharing here. Okay. Let's go back to the presentation. Okay, here we go. Seguimos, people. We continue. All right. Now, over here, vamos a completarlas. Estos que están acá, people. What is the first one? ¿Cuál es el primero? Eating. Ah, eso es fácil, ¿verdad? <laughs> Eating. Ok, pongamos la A acá. Después de las mayúsculas, ok, vamos a hacer un poquito más de la depresión. Eating. La siguiente, next. Planning. Ah, sorry. Planning. No, es playing. People. Playing. 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 <laughs> no, también se puede planning, ok. <laughs> it's ok. It's ok. Next. Watching. Watching. Waiting. No, it has to be watching, watching, yes. Ah, watching. Estela, ya está la G ahí, ok. Watching, yes. Listening. The next one is uh, listening, ok. Listening. Ya está la ahí, ok. There you go. Listening, all right. The next one? Painting. Pudding. I think it's pudding. Pudding. Yes. Let's turn down. Nothing. Okay. Pudding. Yes. Pudding. Next. Celebrating. 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 My baby is moving. Making. The next one is making. Okay, thank you. Making, yes, making. Beautiful. Next. Taking. Okay, taking. Solo ponemos la acá, okay. Yes, next, people. Talking. Okay. Talk. Taking otra. <laughs> no, it's talking. 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 Next. Sleeping. Sleeping. Okay, it's what we need. We need that right now. For example, here, Carlos Alemán is sleeping. Running. 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 Mr. Mr. Alemán is sleeping. I don't think so. Yes. What? I'm, I'm not sleeping. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay, next people, dijimos. Running. Running, running right, running. Running. Perdón. Spelling. El, el siguiente. Spelling. What, what do you say? Spelling. Spelling, yes. Spelling. Spelling. Next. Speaking. 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 Next. Going. Going. Okay. Next and last one. Waiting. Worrying. Ah, yeah. worrying. Yes, wearing. <laughs> okay, wearing. Very good, very good. People, excellent, excellent. Teacher, en el verbo listening no debería llevar otra N. Where? Listening. No, no. En ese caso no aplica. Sorry. Tenemos a uh, ver este que está acá. Visit. Open, listening, 
well, listen, actually, uh, los tres verbos que están acá terminan en, en, en uh, CBC, si lo pueden ver. Tenemos acá, uh, bueno, los tres están así. Ok. En esos tres verbos no aplica por su estrés en la pronunciación. Ok. Visit. Open and listen. Por su estrés en la pronunciación no, no aplica. Ok. O podemos decir que no aplica cuando son de doble, doble, de doble sílaba como B, C, listen, dos sílabas. Open. Ok. En ese caso no, no, no. Entonces no aplica, ok. Que tiene dos sílabas. ¿Sí? ¿Saben qué sílaba? No. Yes. ¿Sí? Ok. La sílaba es lo, es lo que divide una palabra, ok. Aquí tenemos B. Sí. Ok. Open. Right. Dos sílabas. En listen tiene dos sílabas también. Listen. Ok. Bueno, la, la, la T es muda. Sería así. Listen. Ok. En el caso de otras palabras, esta que está acá contiene igual de palabras, de letras, perdón, que open, cuatro, pero solo es una sílaba. Shop. Ok. Sería shop. Stop también. Ok. Cuatro palabras, cuatro letras, pero solo es una sílaba. Stop. No son dos sílabas. Ok. Solo es una. Para hacerlo más, más sencillo. Ok. Y no, meterlo, no meternos en, en, en fonética. Yes. Básicamente sería la, la palabra o verbo que tiene una sola sílaba eh, en conjunto con la regla del C, CBC. Exacto, exacto. Ya así, así, de esa forma. Ok, people, questions. Question, people. No, okay, no. seguimos. Next, we have here this thing. Okay, we have we have a present continuous. It says present continuous is used to express actions that are happening at the moment at that exact moment. Okay, for example, ongoing activities. Lo que está pasando en este momento. Reinaldo is arguing with his wife. Oh no. Reinaldo is arguing with his wife. Okay. What is arguing, people? Eh, creo que es como discutiendo, pero ya en, 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 en tono alto. Yes. Okay. Reinaldo, no good man. Okay. Sí. Uh, it's possible. <laughs> Okay, Reynaldo is arguing with his wife. Okay, let's say that the action is happening in this moment. Mr. Pascasio no está acá hoy, no vino. Okay, Mr. Pascasio is snoring. ¿Sabe qué es snoring? Snoring es lo que la, la esposa odia por la noche. Como estamos dormidos. Roncando. Está roncando. Okay, sí. Así que apaguen el micrófono porque se quedan dormidos y empiezan a roncar. Pero bueno. <ríe> ok, seguimos. Rosemary is eating Doritos. Ok, tampoco vino Rosemary. Ok, de Rosemary is eating Doritos. Está comiendo Doritos en este momento. Ok. Uh, the handsome teacher is present. Hello, me. The handsome teacher is presenting the class. Yes, handsome. People, what is handsome? Guapo. Mauricio is? Guapo. Thank you. Somos guapos los Mauricio. <laughs> ah, sí, está bien. Uh, ok, ya, ya, no entendí, ok. <laughs> Perfect, people. Sí. En este momento estoy acá, ok. So, the action is progressive en este momento, ok. Inglés corporativo is monitoring the class, ok. Yes, they are always monitoring the classes, ok. Ahora, sin la palabra, sin tomorrow, tonight, next week, sin esas palabras de, de tiempo, uh, la acción o la oración es progresiva, es solamente progresiva que está pasando en el momento. ¿Ok? Very simple. 
seguimos. Acá está la estructura, structure for, for present continuous. Tenemos subject, or then we have the verb be, am, is, or are. Sujeto, luego el am, el are, el is. Luego verb plus uh, ing. Y el complement. Mr. Prudencio is texting right now. Or she is cooking meat. Okay, vamos a ver. And uh, let me see. Over here. Tenemos un, un contraste entre simple present y present continuous. Ok. Tenemos unos ejemplos acá del 1 al 4 que nos va a ayudar a leer uh, Andrea. Hi. Andrea. Hi. Can you, can you please read? Puede leer, por favor. Esto que está con los dos o uno. Ok. Uh -huh. We use simple present for general information routine activities. One, check my email every morning. Two, he writes report about meeting. Three, she audits inventories. Four, they arrange, arrange meetings. Okay. Viene, viene con fuego. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you. Iba a leer la 1 y la 1, pero it's okay, it's okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Voy a leer. Uh, I check my email every morning. ¿Es eso progresivo? Is that, is that sentence progressive? Sí, progressive. No. The sentence, the sentence, the first sentence is not progressive. The sentence is regular or constant. Okay, constant, es constante. Okay, yes. Uh, he writes re, re, uh, reports about meetings. Is that sentence progressive? No, okay. No. The sentence sounds, sounds like a habit, un hábito, okay. No está en progresivo en este momento. She audits inventories. Ella audita los inventarios, entonces, That, that not, is not progressive, okay? It's just uh, a constant or a regular activity, okay? They arrange meetings, okay? Ellos organizan reuniones. This is not progressive, okay? Uh, nos ayuda a leer la siguiente parte, los siguientes ejemplos. Nos va a ayudar. Marcela, hello. Despierte. Wake up. ¿Cuál Marcela? You. Okay. Eh, ¿Cuál sería, disculpe? Sería la, la dos. Los progresivos, los cuatro progresivos. Sorry. Sería. I am playing a video conference. They are. Getting the document ready. She is editing. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta? She is editing. 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 ¿Cómo? Editing. Editing. She is editing the information. The secretary is making a phone call. A phone call. Okay, people, first, the first one says, thank you for reading, Marcela. Excellent. I am planning a video conference. Okay. Progresivo. Aquí estoy. Escribiendo. I'm writing. <laughs> okay. They are getting the documents ready. Documents, documents. Working. Progressive. She's editing the information. She's here. Okay. And the secretary is making a phone call. Sí, progressive, okay, very good. Ahora, it's, it's very simple to understand, acá está. It's very simple to understand the difference between a simple present and present continuous. Es muy sencillo comprender o diferenciar el presente simple con el continuo, okay. Ambos son presentes, aunque uno, el que es el simple, es para expresar hábitos, okay. Cosas que hacemos durante el día, durante la semana o durante el mes. Okay. Esas acciones no son progresivas. 
solo son cosas regulares que hacemos o actividades regulares que hacemos. Ya vimos cómo, cómo para qué lo usamos, con hábitos, verdades generales, uh, pasatiempos, rutinas diarias, tradiciones, costumbres, así como lo pueden ver acá. Y la forma que usamos en el verbo es la forma base y la forma de la S. ¿Ok? La S la explicamos en tercera persona, she, he y it. ¿Ok? Esos tres. ¿Ok? Ahora, el presente continuo, en, en, por otro lado, se usa en dos ocasiones. Bueno, la más común es en actividades que estamos ejecutando al momento de hablar. ¿Ok? Yes. It's for, for actions that are occurring or happening in this moment. Exact example, I am speaking. Mauricio is speaking. ¿Ok? Yo estoy hablando. I am speaking. ¿Ok? Acción que está pasando en este momento. I am moving, moving, mover, moving my hands. ¿Ok? I am moving my hands. I am looking at the computer. ¿Ok? Acciones que están pasando en el momento. ¿Ok? Yes. Y usamos la forma ING en el verbo. ¿Ok? People, do you understand? ¿Entendemos la diferencia entre esas dos uh, bueno, estructuras? Questions? Pregúnteme, pregúnteme, pregúnteme. People, feel free to ask me. ¿Preguntas? Do you have any questions? No questions? Okay. Seguimos. Look at examples. Nos ayudará a leer Wilber. Wilber, lea la parte de, bueno, una y una, por favor. Okay. Eh. I play tennis. Mm -hmm. I am playing tennis. Ok. I play tennis. Eh, yo juego tennis usualmente, a veces. I am playing tennis. Estoy jugando tennis. Bueno, con una mano solamente. Sí. Ok. Yes. Luego seguimos con lo mismo. You play tennis. You are playing tennis. We play tennis. We are playing tennis. Ok, etc. Hay diferencias en estructura, diferencias en el verbo, diferencias en significado. Ok. Bien sencillo, very simple, very simple. Ok, seguimos. Esto es lo que estábamos haciendo. También hicimos esta parte. Ok, very good. Y ahora hacemos esto. Ok, people, vamos. Tenemos 10 oraciones acá. Haremos, las vamos a completar. We're going to complete this individually. Ok, yes, individually. Let's complete them. Vamos a usar el simple present and present progressive or present continuous. Ok, read carefully, lean cuidadosamente y entiendan el contexto, que si es progresivo o si es algo regular o constante. Ok, yes. Five minutes, people. I will give you five minutes, please. Go. I'm here if you have any questions.
Let me know when you finish, people. Falta, falta. Okay, okay. Teacher, yes. The first is Andy sometimes read comics. Yes. Okay. Ya vamos a compartir. Bueno, ya ya vamos a empezar a a leer. Thank you for reading though. Yes. De hecho es reads con s reads. Es decir, la persona. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you. Finish. Finish, teacher. Okay, thanks. Okay, comportamos. Let's let's come. Let's share right now. You see, um, number one. Hi, teacher. Read number one. Andy sometimes reads comics. Okay. Andy sometimes reads con S, okay, comics. Magdiel, number two, please. We never we never watch TV in the morning. You see. Okay, we never watch TV in the morning. Yes, thank you very much. Wilber, read the next one. Thank you, Wilber. Thank you, Magdiel, for reading. Listen, Sandy is singing in the bathroom. Okay, listen, Sandy is singing, singing, okay, in the bathroom. Singing back on Yenehe. Okay, yes. Uh, Jose, Jair, go, please. Number four. Uh, my sister usually helps in the kitchen. Okay, helps with, with S, con S, okay? Thank you, Jair, for sharing. Sandra, hello, Sandra. Hello, teacher. Número cinco, number five, please read. My mother mm -hmm. making... My mother because, is... No. Making... My mother, no, my, my mother is. My mother. Is making. Is making. Breakfast, no. 
now, okay? My mother is, bre is making breakfast now, okay? Thank you, Carlos Ernesto. Next, please. They often clean the bedroom. Okay, bathroom, yes. Thank you very much. Marcela, Karina, next, please. Marcela, Karina. Look, look, the boys coming home. Okay, the boys are. It's coming. Uh -huh. the, boys are. Look, the boys is coming home. Boys está plural, sería are. Boys are. Ah, sí, sí. Okay, look, the boys are coming home. Okay, thank you very much for that. Let's continue. Uh, Carlos Alemán, can you please read the next one? Yes, teacher, is uh, the seven or the eight? I um... think it's number seven. Okay. Seven, eight, sorry. Uh, um, okay, thanks. Uh, look, the boys uh, are coming at home. Are coming eight. home. No. It's number eight, it's number eight. Ah, number eight, I'm sorry, sorry. Every day, his grandfather um, going for a walk. Walk. Okay. It's every day, walk. every day, my grandfather. No, he's. Sorry. Every day, his grandfather goes. Goes. I goes. It's all those días. Okay, it's constant. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Next. Bro. Next. Uh, Andrea. Number nine. Number nine, please. Okay, uh, I am chatting uh, with my friend at the moment. Okay, chatting, chatting. Thank you, Karen. Chatting. Yes. Karen, the last one. Yes. Cats eat mice. Okay, cats eat mice. Mice or ratones, okay. Aunque yeah. pues, también podría decir que cats are, are eating mice, but hablamos de verdad general, así que entonces sería eso, ¿ok? Yes. All right. So, ¿qué más? Here, we're going to stop here. We're going to continue, and I believe that we have an, exam, uh, an activity here on the book on page number 32. Let me check. It's part number four. All right. Yes, people, go. Let's let's do part number four. Let's complete it. Es casi la misma que vimos anteriormente, okay? Let's complete this one, part four. Two minutes, people. Two minutes para hacer esta parte. Go, go. Just two minutes. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Este, no, no sé, quizás yo, no sé, la número dos, la última palabra, está, está bien, right, 
No, 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 no está bien. ¿Verdad, que no, ¿Verdad que no está bien? No lleva la K, sí, no lleva ah, la K. Ajá. Esa es la ah. K. Ok, gracias. Buen ojo, buen ojo. Teacher, ¿cómo se entiende la, la cuatro? Ah, pay, es, es, esa palabra es, ya está, es una palabra establecida, está, estandarizada, que es, uh, es pay attention. Ok. Poner la atención. Poner la atención. Ok. Uh, no es pagar. Y erróneamente se dice... Put attention, pero eso no es correcto, ¿ok? Lo correcto es decir pay attention, aunque pay significa pagar. En este caso es pay attention, significa poner atención. Ok, gracias. Did you guys finish? Terminamos. Thomas, Thomas Shelby. Finish. Thank you. Finish. Thank you. Sure. Yes. La parte de los cuadros también. Uh, esa parte sí. Y ese en continuo también. No, no, no. It says, le damos la indicación. Read the indication. Write in the boxes the activities you usually do on a Monday morning. Ok. okay. ¿Qué hacemos? No, ¿qué estamos haciendo?
people if you finish if you finish with part a continue with part b okay just if you finish part, okay, a. Sure. part a is the part aquí okay la arriba parte b is esta de aquí She's preparing. I am. Hi. I am paying. She is taking her. They are. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're gonna check. We're going to check number part part A. Okay, uh, let me see. Alguien que la lea, un voluntario. Primera, number one. I'm teacher. Go, so, me, me, okay, me. Me, okay. Mm -hmm. um, complete the sentences in present continuous. Um, Thomas is reading the contract. De, de hecho, hay, hay un error, hay un error. Dice, en el paréntesis está print out. Print, print. Pero no, está, no está escrito en la... En la, en la, en la no, print. Ah, okay. Okay. Seguimos. Next. ¿Alguien más? ¿Segunda? Cheryl is meeting with the boss right now. Ok. Thank you, thank you, César. Next. ¿Alguien más? Go, Juan. Go, go. He is taking care of everything. Everything. Not everything. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Wilber. Jonathan. Boy, um, I am paying attention to the instructions. Okay. Yes. Next. Year. Next. Next. Alguien más. Next. Number five. Yo. So, she preparing. She preparing. He is. The, he is. She is preparing the briefing. Okay, the briefing. Okay, next, la última. They are sending the product of the warehouse. Okay, they are sending the product to the warehouse. All right, that's how how it goes. Okay, that's how it goes. Perfect. Thank you very much for reading all right and in the ultima parte bueno parte b los que no han leído can you please read the ones that have not participated okay funny no more participate funny thank you funny gracias gracias funny 
Teacher, esa no la había hecho la A, la B, ¿verdad? Why the, in the box, boxes, the activity you usually do on Hello. Monday morning. Yes, yes. Mm. Um, Ay, no sé, teacher. Usted puede, usted puede, está fácil, dale, dale. Um, quiero ver en la mañana. Yes, Monday morning. In the morning, um, Um, lo primero es, es, es stand up, levantarse, uh, lavarse, lo, en, lavarse los dientes. Watch, watch them. The tip, tic, o no, the tip. Ah, oh, sería brush. Brush, no, brush. Brush your, brush your teeth. Teeth, teeth. Teeth. Um, bad. Eat at breakfast. Eat breakfast, okay. Uh -huh, what else? Um, bañarse es ba back. Bake. Bake. <laughs> okay. Okay, that, that's okay. okay. You can stop there, okay? Lo va a compartir. Nos va a compartir Silvia. Silvia, comparta, please. Thank you. Okay. Lo primero es I take a shower. I brush my teeth, mm -hmm. I prepare to work, and I look at my phone. So. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you for sharing. Uh, seguimos, Sandra, comparte, Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. Um, I go to the bathroom, I bath my jeans, um, Puffs are very puffs. Yes, the last one? Uh, only. <laughs> okay. okay, that's okay. Thank you. Karen, share, please. Okay. Um, I take a shower in the morning. Um, I'm teaching. Mm -hmm. What else? It's complicated to think, but my routine is all is the same all all days. Okay, no worries. No, no, no problem. No problem. You can say that. Okay. I brush my hair. I I brush in my hair every morning, and I take. Uh, I am taking breakfast at 6 a.m. Who be say that? At 6 a.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, well, we have we have uh, finished because we don't have more time. It's it's already one past ten, so we're not going to continue because we don't have more time. Uh, do you guys do you guys have any questions? Tienen preguntas de lo que hemos visto el día de hoy? No, teacher. No. Tienen sueño? Yes, teacher. I am sleeping. Yes, yes. No oh. question, teacher. Okay, Raúl está ahí. 
Yes, teacher. Are you available? Está disponible? Sí. Ok, usted se queda entonces. Okay. <laughs> Toda la noche, dice. Usted se queda, ok. Ok, <laughs> no problem. It's Friday, I'm bored, I don't know. <laughs> Nobody knows it. Alba Yanet Jiménez Cabrera. Dios mío. Ana Marcela Argueta no estuvo. <coughs> Ana Marcela Argueta no estuvo, ¿verdad? Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Carlos Josué Pascasio García. No, right. <coughs> Catherine Alexandra tampoco estuvo. César Arquímedes uh, Moreno Flores. Present teacher. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Hey. Jonathan Mauricio Galvez Juárez. Present. José Yair Lobo Pérez. Present. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Marcela Karina Melgar Alas. I'm here. Margarita Rosemary Pérez no estuvo. Uh, María José Alves Auceda. Raúl Arturo Esquivel Medina. Present. Reinaldo Antonio Fernández Acevedo. Present teacher. Sandra Yanira Ayala Jiménez. Present teacher. Seguimos Silvia Guadalupe Romero Montoya. Present. Uh, Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. Uh, Fanny Judith Palacios de Oliva. Present teacher. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. And the Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. Okay, people. See you on Monday. Nos vemos el lunes. Se cuidan. Descansen. Okay, pásenla bien. Excelente. Hey, we'll be here. Thanks, teacher. Good night. Traveseando, teacher. Traveseando. Y con mi, con mi periquito. Oh, ok, hey, excelente. ¿Qué tipo? Good night. Good night. Yeah, ok, descansen. Good night. Pásenla bien, ok, disfruten. Good night, bye bye. Bye bye, Hernando. Bye. Bye. Raúl, nos quedamos, Raúl. Okay, teacher. Okay, we are here. Estamos acá para poder aclarar cualquier duda, pregunta que tenga, confusión, quejas, etc. Te vale las quejas también. <laughs> De todo. Okay. No, pues en, la, en el uso del presente progresivo. Yes. Estaba escuchando ahí la, las reglas de por lo menos de algunas que no se pueden repetir las la letras, la X, la W. Uh -huh. Y la eh, Y. Uh -huh. Eso es en todo el uso del progresivo, me imagino. Sí, ese progresivo solamente, o la ING más bien. O la ING, uh -huh. Explicaba la regla de la, de la CBC que es consonante, vocal, consonante, si el verbo termina en esas, tres, en esas tres letras, entonces tendríamos que duplicar la última letra y luego agregar la ING. Ok. Mm. Acá lo voy a... Para que vea mejor. Pongamos acá un verbo cortar, pongamos el verbo cut. Si usted puede ver, cut termina, bueno, tiene hasta tres, palabras, hasta tres letras, la C, que es la consonante, la U, la vocal, la T, la consonante. La regla dice que vamos a duplicar la última letra que es T, luego ING. Ok, cutting, así sería. Okay. Cutting, correcto. Uh -huh. uh, tenemos también esta, este, este verbo que es fix, que es reparar. Bueno, pongamos acá la C, C una vez. Y digamos lo mismo. Okay. Tenemos acá también lo mismo, fix, 
se puede ver, tenemos la F, que es la, la consonante, la I, la vocal, y la X es la consonante, pero la X no se puede duplicar, entonces no podemos poner otra X ahí, porque sería fix, sin, fix, sin, fix, sin. Sería fix. Uh -huh. Ok. Sería doble, doble Se X. cambia por S. Entonces, no, eso, no, 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 me refiero a que si, la, si, la, si agregáramos la otra X, sería fix, sin, fix. Uh -huh. Entonces, Como en, dos palabras unidas. Ajá, en ese caso no aplica, entonces no, no duplicamos nada. ¿okay? La X no se puede duplicar. Uh, pongámosle aquí BAO. BAO es esa... ¿Cómo se dice en español? Dar, dar reverencia. ¿okay? Dar uh -huh. reverencia. Entonces, la W no se puede duplicar, sería BAO. ¿Ok? Bow. Otro que no se puede duplicar es el, la... Y no se puede duplicar. Tenemos ejemplo de verbo pagar, pay, no se puede duplicar la Y, sería así, solamente la I, la, la ING, ¿ok? Sin duplicar. De una sola vez. ¿Mm? Eso sería de una sola vez, ¿verdad? Ajá, exacto, exacto, eso sería de una sola vez. ¿Ok? Ok. Y lo que se explicaba también de las palabras que tienen doble sílaba, no es en sí que tengan doble sílaba, sino que se trata de la, de la, del estrés en la pronunciación. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Como el verbo open tiene mayor estrés, ¿ok? Mayor estrés en el inicio, que es la palabra letra O. ¿Ok? O, open. Por ese, caso, por, ese, por ese caso es que no se puede duplicar con otra N, sino que solamente es opening. O, porque uh -huh. la, la mayor fuerza de, de voz o la entonación está en la O. Otro ejemplo es B. Visit. Ok. B, 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 visit. Mayor fuerza de entonación está en la B y la I. B, visit. Ok. Por esa razón no se puede duplicar esa T. Sería visiting. Ok. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Por esa razón. Ok. Ok. Y pues también, también puse listen. También lo mismo es li. listen. Ok. La mayor uh -huh. fuerza de voz en list. Ok. La, la última, por esa razón no se puede duplicar. Pero ambos, los tres verbos, si ustedes pueden ver, terminan en, en, en CBC. Correcto. Vaya, en este caso, esto no aplica solo para terceras personas, no que para todos los. No, este es para todos los verbos. Este es para todos los verbos. Ah, ok. Y esta tercera persona, lo que, por eso usamos el I am, you are. Uh -huh. Ok. Y es el is. Okay. Eso es lo, lo que cambia es el B para poder uh, la persona. Sí. Ahí es el cambio para lo, todo lo demás. Sí. Ok. Apa. Yo creo que solamente esa sería la duda, Ticho. Ok. Eso estaría entonces perfecto. Sí. Y perfecto. ya hicimos el mouse, el middle turn y la segunda unidad. Sí. Ok, perfecto. Eso, eso está muy bien. Eso está muy bien. Excelente. Vamos a revisar eso entonces más tarde porque o oh, se le ha ido a uno de eso todavía. Me voy a revisar aquí si no he revisado. O le comenté ayer, ¿verdad? Que le hiciera, ¿no? Uh -huh. Ah, sí, sí, aquí está. Que tiene, tenía cero y cero. <ríe> sí. Ok. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ok. No bueno, problem. a todos les he preguntado lo mismo. No sé si tienen alguna recomendación de cosas que podemos incluir en la clase o cosas que tenemos que podríamos mejorar durante la clase. Sería muy bueno que recomendara algo si tiene alguna recomendación pues por el momento eh, quizás a veces que se hacen grupos muy pequeños que es como que cuesta para que bueno lo practicamos terminamos de ahí los demás ya no quieren y como a usted le toca andar de grupo en grupo a veces se tarda un poco más verdad mm. Ajá, entonces ahí se pierde un poco de tiempo, digamos, en la hora de practicar, porque uno dice, ah, ya lo practicamos dos veces suficiente, y se queda, y esperemos al teacher y ya. Pero de lo demás, siento que estamos bien. Ok, está bien. Está bien. Ok, thank you, thank you very much for your recommendation. Vamos a ver si lo podemos cambiar. Ok, sí, sí. Okay. Muy buena idea. No problema, teacher. Ok, bueno, well, un placer. Oh, gracias por la paciencia. Un placer, un placer, Rey Arturo. <ríe> <risa> ok, bueno, teacher. Lunes, que tenga un feliz fin de semana. Y pase la vida, ok. Gracias, gracias. Pase la vida a usted. Descanse, ok. Disfrute. Bueno, gracias. See you Monday. See you Monday, teacher.